Hey everyone, thanks for watching. In today's video, I'm gonna show you uh, two different ways to turn a Cisco video endpoint, in this case, a desktop pro, into a kiosk where you can simply walk up, press a button or press a link and be dialed into a call. Let's dive into it and check it out. All right, so here we go. I am in front of a desktop pro and I have two examples staged up here. Uh, the first example is with two different UI element buttons and macros driving them behind the scenes. And then I have a web application that kind of simulates a kiosk uh, type uh, configuration from a, a, a web engine perspective that we'll talk about second. First, let's talk about these, these icons on the screen. They are basic UI elements that you can create uh, with the UI element editor. Uh, we have a macro behind both of them. Uh, the first one is simply a tap to call, and the second one is a tap to open a window to confirm a call, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But anyway, the first one, if I tap and call this, it's pretty simple, it just, uh, is the macro is just listening for this event, and it goes ahead and executes a call. The second one uh, would be more of a confirm option. So if I tap it, it asks me, do you wanna confirm that you wanna make this call? In this case, I'm using a 911 call as an example, and uh, when I tap confirm, then the macro, here's the event, and executes the call that way. Now, how would you use these? These would be great for a walk-up kiosk with the first one. You walk up, uh, maybe the background is customized to give the user some context, uh, or the end customer, or whoever. Uh, great for a lobby, at a bank, uh, just a kiosk application. Tap call, uh, of course you can customize the, the tag there with it. Uh, tap call and be connected. The second is more of a, I don't know, an emergency type situation you wanna confirm it, so if you're sitting at your desk and you accidentally tap it, you don't want it to actually execute a 911 call, for instance. Uh, either way, two options to customize this endpoint. Now, those are two options of my first option. I guess that got a little confusing, but the second is to actually do this from a web page. Now, I uh, don't have the most beautiful web page created here, but uh, it is simple, and I think it'll prove the point. I've simply just made a call button um, this is essentially a protocol handler uh, inside the web page, right? So SIP colon or TEL colon would allow you in, in HTML code to make a clickable call link. Now this, again, is a simple web page. You could actually rotate a much nicer web page with something like AppSpace or something of that uh, effect. You could use it as a kiosk, a guest check-in, those types of things. Uh, either way, when a user taps this, the endpoint will verify that they do in fact want to execute the call. You click call and the call will be made. Now this does need to be turned on in the configuration. So as you can see on the screen there, there is a, a toggle in the settings where you can actually click uh, or drop down and save the protocol handler settings. Uh, right there. So uh, definitely check that out on your endpoint. Now in kiosk mode, you wouldn't have the option to exit out necessarily. Uh, I just made a quick link to, to join, but, um, but yeah, really that's it. UI elements or a web enabled option to click to join. Hopefully that's been helpful. If you have questions, comments, tips, tricks, leave them in the video comment section below. I also have the video description that has links to the code that I used in this example. Uh, Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to have more stuff coming in the future. As always, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you back sometime soon.